don't know about you, but I was hoping that we were finally in that phase where things were going to cool down. But it's feeling like it's warming up again, Ivan. And What's I going still on? I was kind of hoping it was Friday already. It's no, only Thursday. Not yet. Yeah. Only Thursday. I'm hoping it's Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> so we're talking about just a little more humidity, and that's what's making it feel uncomfortable. The temperature is actually not all that uh, different. So what we have here is a tropical wave, not quite a depression yet. It's a correction from earlier. As we talk about the system, technically the National Hurricane Center calls it a potential tropical cyclone 13. That's a lot of words there, and it's just kind of confusing, right? So this is still a wave. You need a closed low for it to become a depression. That'll likely happen as early as tonight, and then eventually this will become a tropical storm and potentially even a hurricane, as some of the models have been indicating for the last few days. That's why we had that uh, orange polygon there indicating the you know, potential development. But uh, now it will develop, and there's the forecast tropical storm over Columbia, 45 mile an hour winds, an unusually southern track, I know, but uh, sometimes these things uh, happen. And the, part of the reason this is not going to intensify, at least, uh, you know, in any significant fashion the next few days, part of it, it's going to be over land. But once it emerges back over water, it will get attacked together here, unfortunately, for our good friends in uh, Nicaragua and into Honduras. That may become a Category 1 hurricane and then eventually pushes to the west. A lot of mountains here, so obviously this will be one of those things you have to follow closely because of the heavy rain and because of the potential mudslides and landslides that typically come with the cyclone hitting uh, Central America. Back home here, we still are looking at the relatively dry air. You have been noticing a little more humidity, and that's also resulted in just these showers that don't survive you know, for more than like a you know, 15, 20 minutes. And again, we've been talking about the dry air that's been on top of us, and that's why we haven't been able to make um, you know much rain. But I know you've had a couple little light showers that to get around right now. Everything is pushed west of uh, Chrome Avenue, so I think we're pretty much done uh, for the rest of the evening as we'll be mostly clear and temperatures in the upper 70s. Uh, but yeah, it has been feeling a little more uncomfortable. King tides coming up uh, this weekend. Uh, we have a meteorologist Dave Warren. He'll explain what causes them. A lot of folks ask about that this time of year and also when we're going to peak as far as the tides themselves. That's coming up for uh, this weekend. and We'll have that coming up at 530. All right, tomorrow still dry, still a couple of showers here and there. It's not going to be a huge deal. We are going to get more moisture coming this week, and that will result in you know more typical afternoon storms, say typical, basically back in July, August when we get these downpours here. But that moisture is going to be with us. So I'm thinking you know uh, some good rain chances coming up. Still 30% coverage on Saturday. That's better certainly than tomorrow. But then for Sunday, just plan to the weekend, not a washout for Sunday, but. We're going to have a lot more coverage with 60% uh, chance of showers and storms and then still holding on to 40 coverage early next week with highs near 90.